Hi everyone. Hi everyone. In a witch oracle. Self alchemist. Self alchemist. <laughs> this video is brought to you from Ephesus. It's uh, one of the ancient wonders of the world, and it's in uh, southern east, southeast west. Turkey. I think west. West. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's next to Izmir. It's like uh, only less than one hour drive from big city of Izmir. From from Izmir, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it's a it's an archaeological site. It's huge. It's massive. It's amazing. The energy is beautiful. Uh, the buildings that you see that I'm going to show here on the screen dates back to thousands of years ago, 3,000 years uh, old, and uh, it's it's fascinating. So we're here to feel the energy, to uh, and to share with you uh, basically this 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 adventure, this exploration. And today I'm going to ask Inawich about how do you get to feel the energies of these archaeological sites or of these ancient sites when you visit them. How do you how do you like get uh, if someone wants to go and feel these energies and 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 use them even use them for for their spiritual growth how how they how can they do it? So I think it's it's pretty easy. You just have to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> First of all, you have to go to the site. Yeah. First of all, go go to the site. <laughs> and then just uh, try to. Um, feel and sense with your eyes closed. Yeah. It's like when you go to the most important like monument mm -hmm. in the area or just like something that you kind of like you like mm -hmm. with your eyes yeah. and then go there and close your eyes and try to try to concentrate on whatever it is you're feeling at the moment. Maybe some images gonna come, some visions, yeah. maybe you're gonna feel some interesting energy. I think everyone is um, capable of feeling and sensing a lot of things, especially you guys watching because you're already drawn to the supernatural so you do have some kind of powers. And so the easiest way to unlock them it's just to try. Yeah. The more you try, the more you're going to be able to connect with these energies and feel and sense more. Yeah. I feel it's just um, it's just a matter of time for many of you guys. Mm -hmm. And the easiest way I use my hands, like I go over like the, the stone. Yeah, over, you can touch um, all these stones and mosaics, artifacts. Yeah, yeah, artifacts. Almost, yeah, 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 that's uh, true. It's just even to touch like the air, the energy. Uh, your whole body is yeah. a sensor. Like yeah, it's, it's the true. biggest tool because your body is going to give you like some kind of vibrations, different feelings. So use it as a point of understanding what's going on. Like for example, if your body feels bad somewhere, or you feel like you want to fight, or uh, you're yeah. getting like annoyed or irritated, yeah. so that means the energy is not so good. Like maybe yeah. something bad was happening, yeah. like uh, sacrifices. Uh, like maybe yeah yes yeah, they sacrificed even yeah and it's yeah. better to leave that like if someone feels like that it's better mm -hmm. to leave to leave that place and then you start feeling peaceful right away mm -hmm. right yes yeah uh different places feel differently so the more you go to interesting places it's not necessarily supposed to be like ancient uh, ruins or like uh, yeah. world heritage sites it could be any place like forest uh, anything around your house your own room if you find if you find a way and just like to try to feel the energy what's going on it's, yeah. it's very helpful you might understand and you might collect these memories or feelings from one place to another place so when you go to your 10th or 20th place and you will understand what you feel more because you already felt something similar in another place or that place true, and it's going to make you like remember collect and then uh, kind of like figure out what it is you you're feeling you start like uh, fitting the puzzles mm -hmm. the puzzle pieces and connecting the dots and and then one memory might come back and then one that memory might lead to feeling some sort of energy and then maybe you can unlock some gift or something you know something that you were um, you were unaware of yeah right yeah. Yes, like for example, once I was driving across uh, a, a big like field, yeah. but it was next to ancient ruins. But the field didn't like it, it wasn't open for tourists, and it wasn't anything special. So like, there is no where uh, like information or guide that says to you like this is a special sacred field or something. Yeah, yeah. And I was driving through it, and it felt like there's like I felt like so much blood, like war, like so much, so many deaths happened. Yeah, yeah. So suffering, I, torture. Suffering, torture. Like uh, I felt like I wanted to cry, and then maybe a few hours later in the another museum I found out that that was the field where all the cities around used to have these fights uh, or war yeah. uh, over the land. So this was the field when so many people died mm -hmm. all, all over centuries, like maybe 10, 11 centuries. Yeah, yeah. And this, you remember this feeling. So next time you feel something like that in another sp uh, space like or place, you know that this was the place of this war. This was war, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's also, I think there is no, uh, there is no way that like we can kind of guide you guys on how to feel the energies because we're all so different and complicated creatures. True, true, yeah. We yeah, all feel different. 
Absolutely. Sure. Yeah, for some, it's going to be energy. For some people, it might be visions. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you feeling differently yeah, uh, for, when you go to places. Yeah, it's yeah, exactly. Uh, for me, it's mainly come by vision. I visualize because I have clairvoyance and my third eye is open. So when I visit a place and um, I see like ancient monuments, especially stuff that dates back to thousands of years ago, um, and then usually at that same moment or later I start visualizing I start having this vision I don't it's like they come to me and with these visions I start remembering the energy or who I was or whom I met and that's how the memories come to me so it's all through vision and this vision comes basically inside of in, inside of my mind it's inside the mind um, and uh, it's all generated by what people call like third eye basically or, or you know you just have this uh, this clairvoyance of what the place looks like so for example here in Ephesus we're walking and as we're walking I can easily uh, visualize how this place was three four thousand years ago I can easily see how everything was what the people were wearing what the people were doing and and uh, it's like memories coming back to me and uh, th that that feeling is priceless it's so priceless yeah yeah so you don't really use energy it's just like the visions it's yeah yeah, it's like, no, I do feel the energy, the energy, I can feel it. I can feel if, if something happened or something was here. Mm -hmm. And it, it's almost a weird transition from the energy that becomes a vision. Mm -hmm. It's like they're connected, it's like yeah. they're connected, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. very interesting. Yeah. So when it comes to the third eye, yeah, because I know a lot of people like asking me these questions about third eye. So for you, what is it and where is it and how do you use it? Third eye, uh, for me, it's the mind. It's mm -hmm. uh, regardless of, you know, a lot of people call it different things mm -hmm. and it's all details, but it's all in the mind. So for you, it's yeah. still going to be like this area? Uh, like you, you see? No, you not... See or you... Yeah, like w when I see, I feel like it's... It, when I see the vision, it's it's like I'm watching a television, but it's like a it's like a spiritual screen, if that makes sense. But it's not really here. It's mm -hmm. inside of my head. It's mm -hmm. inside, and I see it clearly. Sometimes more, sometimes clearer than reality itself. And it's it's mesmerizing. I, I can't even explain it. Yeah, yeah, it's mesmerizing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah. But, but what what about you? For you, how how th these sensations? I, I know that for you it's more they come in to feel it like as feelings how, yes. how does how, can you can you elaborate on that how, how does so, it work so for me and I know a lot of uh, other people watching like the third eye is actually like in this area so like somewhere here so yeah. this is where I start getting feelings yeah and this is kind of like this is the area of my body that like push me to do some things or to uh, so around experience your, yeah. things yeah uh, this this is more like mind so yeah. I don't really see through my mind yeah. I try to shut down my mind uh, like as much as it possible because uh, i allow my feelings to take over yeah uh, i know some people um uh, they always said that the third eye should be here it's actually for many people at different places for some it's like even neck for some it's even like uh legs back yeah, uh, yeah. like back of the neck yeah um, Arms, hands, like ha palms, hands, palms, hands, like hands. It could be, it could be any place of your body that is yeah. like more activated or more vibrating on higher frequencies than any other part of your body. Yeah. It's for yeah. everyone is different. It has to do with the gifts and abilities that you guys have. Yeah. So yeah. it's all connected with the ability. And uh, I know some people get stuck when they say like, "I'm trying to see through my third, third eye," and yeah, they're yeah. trying to see through here. It's not there. And like, that, that's actually a very good point because uh, I think this is a Hindu concept, and it's also new age. It's very new age. Uh, spirituality because the new age and spirituality took everything from hinduism so th this 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 notion of the third eye is here and as you said people get stuck mm -hmm. and if they're not clairvoyant they're like well i'm not seeing things but well, maybe you're feeling things maybe you're smelling things maybe you're hearing things maybe you know so, so it's not always here yeah, yeah maybe you're energy healer so you're not even supposed to sense or yeah. see you're supposed to actually feel the energy so yeah. the whole body is your tool yeah exactly so it's yeah. an interesting process and that's why i feel like people should start uh, exactly yeah like just practice the more you practice the more you realize you realize what's, what's yeah what's, what's your tool what's your tool where 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 in your body you can feel or sense these these uh these visions basically you know and here we are again just uh, at um, uh, Ephesus and here there's something that's very prominent which is uh, uh, basically there's a temple of Artemis Artemis the goddess of, uh, of the divine feminine and uh, she was an ancient goddess of hunt of beauty she was worshipped by the ancient Greeks she's one of the main deities of, of, the, of the Greeks and uh, she's um, 
she's uh, she's called Artemis, right? Mm -hmm. And she's depicted here as this like uh, divine feminine, uh, uh, like with with a statue. They found a statue here in this site, and this statue has a lot of eggs. People say it's eggs. People say, as you can see here in the screen, they don't. It's uh, the the statue is a, is a mystery, and people don't know. Um, archaeologists don't, don't really know the meaning. Mm -hmm. That statue, they found it, and they just don't know what's the meaning of it. And it's the only representation of this goddess called Artemis. Yet she was worshipped in here, where we are standing. Thousands of years ago, people used to pilgrim from around the world to come worship her, mm -hmm. including the Amazons. The Amazons used to live around this area, and the, apparently she was their goddess, and they used to come here to worship her. What do you have to say about... Um, the Amazons, Artemis, this this the goddess deity, uh, and people coming from around the world thousands of years ago to to do their worship here, because I know, you know, you have a connection with that. So so so, what do you think? What do you think, or what what can you share with people about that? Uh, I think Amazons, it's like a feminine, like female Vikings for yeah. many people. <laughs> yeah, it's true. They yeah, also yeah. like uh, I think not many people know they they actually came from the north. Yeah. So they didn't came from the south. Uh, yeah. So from they, where, like ra ra Russia? Like, I think modern day Russia, Russia like Ukraine, stuff, Ukraine. You know, all yeah. of those countries. So they came here and they started worshiping Artemis. I don't think she was called Artemis back then. Yeah. Uh, they used to call her by a different name, and uh, the worship was, it was heavy worship, a lot of uh, sacrifices, sacrifices, a lot of uh, yeah. offerings. Uh, dark worshipping like night worshipping um different type of worships that doesn't feel like um pleasant I positive would say. yeah like yeah. there there, was, there used to be a lot of uh, animal and human sacrifice done here where we are here right now actually it used to be done and they even found evidence they found bones they found skulls and these skulls were pierced so so clearly human sacrifice was was done mm -hmm. like there's evidence and like what 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 do you feel about that? <laughs> like, <laughs> I feel this This was the sense of their power. Like, I think this is, was the way for them connecting to their uh, masculine power, the yeah. power. So uh, I think they, they needed to be feared because it was only women here. So it's always yes. like you always uh, have, to, <laughs> have to be like have against to, yeah. every male yeah. out there. You have to so, show it too. You have to yeah. show it. Have to because show. they were very feared. Um, yeah. They were fearless and they were like very powerful. Yeah. And I think this is a very interesting area for many people to visit. Yeah, like, yeah. Regardless of the gender, because this is crazy energies actually. Yeah. Uh, one of the ancient wonders of the world. Of the world. Still, yeah. still, we can visit. Yeah. Uh, I think it's interesting. It's very interesting to visit places like this. Uh, this is the same place where the gladiators used to fight as well. Yes. The yeah. library of uh, Celsius was here. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Hadrian Gates, a temple to Hadrian, Hadrian to many Roman emperors, and many many temples here so like amazing place yeah yeah and it was a hub this it, this was yeah, a crazy hub it was actually, yeah it's like you're talking about the new york or or london of, their times, one of, 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 the, of the yeah, yeah yeah it was one of the interesting cities it was a harbor so like you can come by boat and yeah they have like two huge uh, amphitheaters yeah and the, the mediterranean is just right there like where we are it's very close by very close. very close so the boats would come and they would dock uh their, their boats directly here and they can come to the to this site of ephesus um, and uh, yeah, it's truly fascinating. And many ruins still standing, mm -hmm. three thousand years later, still standing, still still here. It's it's truly fascinating. Yeah. 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 The nature amazing. Like we yeah. see it across the mountain. So yeah. And yeah. very close to the waters. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. So definitely, if you feel connection with anything that we said, if you feel connection with Amazons. Um, and I think like any type of traveling, especially now when pandemic is slowing down. Yeah, it's, yeah, for it's sure. It's a good thing to put on your bucket list. <laughs> for sure, definitely. Like there's something which, with this like ancient wonders of the world where it, they're, they're like these monuments that can definitely help you remember mm -hmm. uh, a prominent la past life because this was this this was the, 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 the most civilized, I would say, well, not the most, but one of the most civilized places thousands of years ago mm -hmm. like after, i think after the egyptians it was here it was around this area so i think when the egyptians civilization started to go down here the greeks took over and the greeks thrived here they mm -hmm. thrived so much and uh it's a uh, 
definitely most likely that you the watchers have probably had a, a reincarnation here if you're watching this because there are no coincidences <laughs> could here. Be a sign. there's <laughs> could no be a sign. there's no chance it could be a sign but uh but yeah like so feeling do you have anything to add about like feeling the energies uh in in these in these situations or while visiting uh, uh sites like this do you have anything to add or 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 for the people who are watching Just okay guys i have a question for you uh please share in the comments how often do you visit uh like ruins or ancient sites or museums if you visit do you actually try to feel the energy if you try to like do some kind of spiritual work if you sneak in your uh, traveling altar <laughs> 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 offerings to the god of the place because i've actually seen in europe uh, I, i've been to a uh, temple of apollo and i've seen a uh, a young guy from Germany who like tiny sacrifice to the Apollo. Yeah, just like there in the corner, no one sees you. So I'm so curious to know, like, how do you visit these places? If you are into visiting visiting places or museums, and also maybe like my personal tip on how to try to work with energy or feel energy, start from your home. Yeah, true. When you wake up before you open your eyes, try to like feel the energy of your apartment, of your house. When you feel that something is negative, um, maybe shift some like crystals, like move some furniture. That's very, yeah. Uh, just yeah. like uh, change physical locations of objects so yeah. to shift the energy. Yeah. And I think it helps because sometimes we just don't have time or opportunity to go somewhere. Yeah. Start from home. That's I, I totally agree with this. It's an amazing advice because uh, your home is, is basically where you go back to sleep every night. This is your temple, so this it's is the your temple. fortress, yeah, yeah. this is your like, everything. <laughs> everything, this is where you are. <laughs> and if you're not feeling good there, I don't know <laughs> where, where else <laughs> in the streets. <laughs> No, that's uh, this is that's uh, thank you very much for this uh, amazing advice and uh, thank you again for sharing your wisdom. Like, you know, it's just like it's always uh, you know it's it's uh, we can't get enough of your wisdom, of your knowledge, of your <laughs> thank company. You so, thank you so much. Uh, thank and, you. Uh, thank you so much for having me here again, uh, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for watching. We appreciate it. And uh, yeah, again, uh, share with us in the comment section as per what Inawich said, your experiences. How do you deal with feeling energies and. Um, any questions actually any questions Anything. that you have so it's going actually going to help us to create more content yeah yeah for based you guys yeah. what you want to see yeah exactly yeah <laughs> so uh, thank you have an amazing day and uh, we'll see you in the next video thank you